Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix ENE.SYS driver error in Windows 10 and 11. It is a quick and easy tutorial, so let's get into it. We need to go to File Explorer. You can do this by either clicking the icon on your taskbar or using the search icon that resembles a magnifying glass and search for it. You can also click on the hotkey Windows plus E. Once in, you will find all files and folders. In the top right corner, you'll notice three dots, which signify See More. Give that click. Then select options from the drop-down menu. Next, navigate to the View tab. Here, under the section labeled Files and Folders, look for the option that says Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives. Click to select that, and don't forget to hit Apply and then OK to save your changes. Now, on the left panel, locate this PC and double-click on your local disk, where Windows is installed. Within this directory, you should find a file named en.sys. Right-click on this file and select the Rename option. To rename it, add a letter or a number at the end of the EN, ensuring that you preserve the .sys at the end. This adjustment may prompt a confirmation regarding file permissions. Just go ahead and accept that. Once you've completed that step, it's time to restart your computer and check if the issue has been resolved. If you still encounter difficulties, it might be worth exploring the option to disable memory integrity. To proceed, return to the search menu and type Core Isolation. When the best match appears, click to open it. Here you'll find a Memory Integrity option. I recommend toggling this to the off position. If it's currently enabled, go ahead and switch it off. After making this change, make sure to restart your computer once again. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And click on that notification bell to never miss an update.